everyone. Welcome to Counting on Math. In this video series, we'll be examining some common math strategies that kids are using in their classrooms. As we all know, math classrooms today look very different from when we were in school. And sometimes parents feel a bit lost when helping their kids with their math schoolwork. Our goal is to help you interpret and understand some of these newer math strategies, as well as the purposes behind them, so that you, in turn, can help your kids become successful mathematicians. We hope these videos provide some insight for you. Enjoy! We've all heard about Common Core Math, and you may have heard the phrase new math a few times, but what do these really mean? Very few people have stopped to explain the facts about today's math standards, and specifically what they mean for your child. Today, we'll take some time to answer your questions, and I'll give you some places to look for more information. A standard is a measurable learning expectation. It outlines what students need to learn in each grade level. Common Core is one example of a set of standards, but it's not the only set. Here's a little background. The Common Core state standards were developed in 2009 as standardized learning objectives in math and English language arts and literacy across the United States. This allows all students, no matter where they live, to learn the same skills in each grade level. However, not all states chose to adopt the Common Core state standards. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Here's one example of a Common Core state standard from Grade 2 Mathematics. Many times you'll see this represented as CCSS with a code. This standard specifically addresses place value and gives teachers a measurable skill for students to learn by the end of second grade. Standards like these tell teachers what students need to learn, but they do not define the resources or the instructional strategies. That's the job of your local district and classroom teachers. They choose and create a curriculum that follows the state standards. I'll show you what I mean. A curriculum, from the entire course to the specific lesson for one day, is created from textbooks, technology, games, activities, and worksheets all designed to teach students the skills outlined in the standards. These resources are chosen according to the latest research for effective teaching methods. What that means for you is that the worksheet that came home in your child's folder with a CCSS code on it is not actually coming from Common Core. It's coming from your local district or teacher to meet that standard. Many states have adopted the Common Core state standards for mathematics, while some have opted to create their own set of standards. To find out whether your state participates in Common Core, you can visit their website at corestandards.org. You'll click Read the Standards, then click Standards in your state. If you hover over each state, it will tell you when the state adopted the Common Core state standards, or it will say, Standards not adopted. You can also read frequently asked questions and read current research used in developing the Common Core state standards. If your state does not participate, you can easily find your state's learning standards as well. As you are searching, look for the .gov links. Those are your best bet to finding the official adopted state standards. You'll click on Mathematics, choose Elementary, Middle School, or High School, then you can read the standards for your grade level. 
Again, this will vary a bit from state to state depending on their website. Keep in mind that these learning standards most frequently apply to public schools. However, some private schools and homeschool organizations may follow similar learning standards. Whether or not your state participates in the Common Core Standards for Mathematics, students across the country will learn similar math skills, but sometimes at a different pace or in a different order. As you can see here, students in Common Core are expected to read and write numbers to 1,000, while students in Texas are expected to read and write numbers up to 1,200. Remember, this place value skill is found in the state standards, but the strategies and resources used to teach it may look different from state to state or even from school to school. Here are a few things to remember. Math strategies are not all pulled from the state standards. The standards explain which specific math skills should students should learn in each grade level. They do not create activities, worksheets, or even test questions. When you see a CCSS code on a worksheet in your child's take-home folder, this simply means it is correlated to a Common Core standard. The worksheet did not come directly from Common Core. Much of what people are calling new math did not originate from the state standards. These strategies have evolved from ongoing research about how kids' brains learn best. That's a lot to take in. My best advice for you is to read your state's math standards and talk to your child's teacher. The more informed you are, the better you can support your children. And staying up to date will give you accurate information when the next social media story appears about a new and different math strategy. Thanks for watching.